Completions engineers have one chance to implement an effective microbial control program that, if successful, can delay, minimize, or prevent issues and maximize production during the first six months of operation. Chlorine dioxide has recently become a popular biocide used in hydraulic fracturing operations. It's very effective at treating water topside, but operations using only chlorine dioxide are leaving much of their operation unprotected and at risk of biofiling, corrosion, and souring. Here's why. Like other oxidizers, chlorine dioxide is a fast-acting biocide. This means it will provide an effective initial kill to surface water, but it will not persist to keep killing microbes beyond the initial few minutes. It is highly reactive, meaning it is consumed through chemical interactions with other frac fluid additives and propent, leaving little left to kill bugs after the blender. Chlorine dioxide degrades in heat. So even if residuals remain after the blender, it quickly loses efficacy in the hot downhole environment. Also beware, to avoid false positives of chlorine dioxide residuals in flowback water, allow the water to cool to room temperature before taking a reading. In order to design an effective integrated microbial control program, it's important to consider the needs of the different phases of hydraulic fracturing. When preparing the water, a quick kill biocide is required to knock down the bio load in the frac pond. This is where chlorine dioxide fits in. Decontamination of the well occurs through on the fly treatment that provides microbial control for a few weeks down hole. In order to protect the reservoir after decontamination of the well, a biocide is required that is effective over the course of a few months in an environment that has a high pH, temperature, and salinity. Preservative biocides should also be effective when coming into contact with shale. As you can see, chlorine dioxide is effective topside, but does not provide an effective microbial control program on its own. Using chlorine dioxide alone can have costly consequences and pose safety risks. If you want to learn more about the strengths and weaknesses of commonly used biocides in oil and gas operations, check out our overview.